Hello once again everyone and welcome to the sanctuary. Once again we're playing Final Fantasy 14 online and tonight is the final stream of 2023. As always, it is the Heaven's Turn event for Final Fantasy 14. Before we do anything else though, let's introduce ourselves. First and foremost is moi. I am Kruznik X, your host. Alongside me on the team are Arya Stormborn, who doesn't have her Discord up because she's watching New Year's Rock and Eve. Hey there. Hey again. Hello there. Also joining us are Lord Firex. Who does have his Discord up. And hello. <laughs> and Corlash. Hello. So, Heaven's Turn, of course, is the New Year's event for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, what's going on behind the back of my screen? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay. What's going uh, on behind here? It was being a little bit wobbly, but then again, I got to clean this desk. Oh, uh, Undeadly One, you want to join us? Uh, we're in Lamia server right at the uh, Limsa Laminsa Upper Decks. In fact, do I have you in part of the crew? Yeah, join us in the uh, join us in the Discord, my man. Jump in. Yeah, I do. I do have you here. Well, why aren't you? Why aren't you in with us? What the frick, man? Come join us on the Twitch chat. The the uh, Discord. What was that, Ori? Join us. I said maybe he didn't One think he was cool us. enough. One of it's us. It's adorable that you put cool and us in the same sentence. Okay. That's a absolute lie. I was never part of the cool kids corner. Okay, let's let's not mince words there. We are the cool kids. They were the idiots. Sweetheart, you married a gamer tech nerd. And you married a cripple. What's your point? We're all nerds. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. All right, we're just waiting for Undeadly One, who is making his way here through uh, from Ultros, and he should be joining us on the Discord chat any moment now. And Stray Fox, how you doing, Stray? Welcome. Uh, 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 Stray. Yeah, I can see him right here. In his, yes, so in his can minor, I. In his minor garb. What's going on, fella? Hey, Dead, what's good, my man? Uh, I'm doing all right. <clears throat> all right, we're all, uh, we're all down in Lamia server at uh, the upper desk, yeah, upper decks. I don't even know which way to go. I am on the upper decks. Yeah, but you're in Ultros. I transferred. Or did I not? No, I didn't. But I transferred. Well, that will be the uh, first step. Yep. I decided to wear my uh, samurai gear from... Uh, or part of the samurai, uh, part of the Heaven's Turn garb that we got from last year's uh, Heaven's Turn. Well, I should be in Lamia now. All right, let me. Uh... Um. Oh yeah. Whoops! I went free company and not friends list. Yeah, you're not gonna find them there. Yeah. No. There's the lad. Invite to party. 
All right, and we've got Undeadly One. All right, in order to do the Heaven's Turn event, we are going to talk to Ryu Metsuke and complete the quest to be a mascot. Let's get right down to it. Well met, friend, and welcome to our festivities. I am known in my homeland of Hingashi as the Ryu Metsuke. It is my delegation's solemn charge to share our Heaven's Turn custom with the peoples of Eorzea, that we might join hands in revelry. Although Heaven's Turn is observed in both our lands to mark the coming of a new year, there is a difference between our traditions. Here in Eorzea, a deity is chosen from among the Twelve to preside over the heavens, while in the Far East, we honor one of the Twelve Noble Beasts. And this year, that beast is the mighty Ryo, a creature you Eorzeans might liken to a dragon. Now, in order to liven up the festivities, we decided to have a pair of horsebird hatchlings, or should I say, chocobo chicks, to serve as mascots. Winsomely dressed in draconic attire, we were certain they would delight all who laid eyes upon them. However, when the Ryu, the Ryu Byugyo, the leader of our delegation, presented one of the chicks to a crowd, the reception was disappointingly muted. We know not what we had. I say, you are an adventurer, are you not? In the course of dispensing aid, you must have acquired some insight into the people's interests. Loath though I am to impose, will you not help us identify our plan's failings? In so doing, we may yet find a way to win over the locals with our mascots. You have my thanks. No. To begin. I ask that you seek out the Ryu Bugo. Bugio. The wanted passes by, she decided to wander around this plaza with her hatchling. When you find her, pray, ask for her account of our dilemma, and thence help us find the solution. Alright, the Bugio is right here. All right, Arya will do right the- Right where? Uh, oh, there. He's supposed to be Krampus. Oh! Oh! Curious about our delegation too, are you? That is well, for I was just about to introduce our mascot, Ryo Nosuke, to this young lady. It's kind of cute. It is adorable. He saw yeah. eyes on a horse bird among horse birds. The pinnacle of plumage. I dare say, Heaven's Turn has never had a mascot as utterly charming as our regal Lear. Well, he's certainly adorable. But what's a Ryu? And why do you have him dressed up in that costume? An excellent question. You see, we wished to present the charms of the Chocobo and Ryu in a lovely, lovable package. Just look at him waggle his scaly little tail. It is an exquisite combination, you must agree. And it would be remiss of me. Not to mention the craftsmanship that went into the outfit. Our weavers spared no effort to evoke the might and the majesty of the Ryu in the diminutive form. Diminutive form, you speak for you. The finished product is simply divine, is it not? Um, I suppose. I still don't know what a Ryu is, but never mind. Thank you for letting me play with him. Oh, that bitch is confused. <sighs> Yet again, I failed to convey the virtues of our mascot. <gasps> you come at the Ria 
fact of this case be asked, I should be most grateful for your aid, adventurer. I seek only to share our mascot's charms with the people of Eorzea, but every attempt has ended in failure, as you've just witnessed. Try as I might, I cannot see what I am doing wrong. If you have any advice, anything at all, I would be most eager to hear it. Hmm. You may want to talk more about the Ryu. Talk about the Ryu, you say? Rather than tediously explaining tradition, I had hoped to initiate the people through our mascots. You believe this is not enough? Invite avail me to speak with that young girl as well. Let her gaze upon Ryanosuke once more and... And he's gone. Oh, wherever did our little mascot go? Follow the kid, I think. Followed after the girl, you say? We must find him, and quickly. Please, adventurer, would you not help with our shirt with the search? Fine. Thank you. Now then, I believe the girl set off in the Very direction of the tavern. The drowning wench, was it? If we find her, I dare say we will find Ryanosuke. All right, Snow, not, nice to see you on the chat. Uh, apparently she has, oh, watching without audio. Ha Happy New Year's Eve, Snow. Uh, thank you for the lurk. Shame you don't have audio mm. for some contrived reason. Hmm. Or she's watching it without audio. Run. All right. Let's go find Ryunosuke. Oh. Uh, oh, over here. Bounce, 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 bounce. Here we go. Auntie, it's her mom's fault. She always calls me kitten. I became a kitten. Goodness, you're here. I've been asking this guardswoman about the girl, but I am struggling to make myself understood. Perhaps you can help clear things up. The lady says she's looking for a girl with a reel, but I haven't the faintest what it is. Uh, to rephrase, it's a chocobo chick wearing a costume. Ah, you must be speaking of the odd little critter I spotted a few moments ago. It was wearing what looked like a dragon costume and was waddling after a young girl. I'm afraid I didn't observe where they went, though. Sorry I couldn't be of help. Many thanks for your assistance. In my haste, I had neglected to explain the meaning of the word Ryu. As Ryu Metsuke told me, the creature doesn't exist in Eorzea. If I had begun by clarifying that it is similar to a dragon, I could have avoided the misunder... Oh, I dare say, I know now wh why our mascot has struggled to win over the masses. I shall speak with this guardswoman a little more, in case she has aught uh, else of note to share. Once I'm finished, I plan to scour the upper decks. In the meantime, might I trouble you to search the lower decks? Once we have finished, let us reconvene at Bulwark Hall. Sounds good to me.
Going down. What? Freezing. Don't be gross. Going down. Going down. down. Okay. Oddskeep looks to be the first point of interest. I haven't done an Oddskeep voice in a while. <clears throat> Young lass and a chocobo chick. Despite them walking past the etherite, though I couldn't say where they went from there. It appears the girl in the chocobo passed through the etherite plaza. Oh, I see one. Aria, would you like to do the honors? A chocobo chick wearing a little green dragon costume? I think go this way, I'm afraid. With customers as scarce as they are today, I'd remember if something walk like that walked by. All right, they didn't come this way. All right, off to Hawker's Alley. Hey, Firex, you do this one. Uh, 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 I know the last you after. Sibley's her name, and she's the daughter of a good friend of mine, in fact. You'd be hard pressed to find a happier father and daughter. They go fishing at the river together all the time. They do. But soon, but he'll soon set sail for faraway lands. Simply his word's sick, and for good reason. The ocean's a, a fickle mistress. Even a simple voyage could cost him and his life. Any road she came through here earlier. But, but I'm afraid I couldn't see say where she is now. Perhaps somewhere someone else can help you there. All right, let's keep scouring the lower decks. Over here, uh, yep. alley goer. Aria? An oddly dressed chocobo chick. She passed by here just earlier. She looked a little lost. So I asked her if she needed any help. But she told me she was fine. She was headed for the Agle Ageless River. Though I left it at that, I can't help but worry for her out there on her own. I hope you find her soon. All right, let's report our finding. Last one there has to clean the chocobo stables. Hold up. <laughs> Looks like Corlash is mucking the stables tonight. Not doing it. Don't care. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to the Ryu Bugio. There you are. I'm in, I'm in charge of uh, submarines, not Chobos. There. By your triumphant expression, dare I help hmm. you learn something of the little girl in our mascot? So, the girl, Sibley, was headed for the Ageless River? That you should find just the information we need is auspicious indeed. For my part in this course of speaking with the locals, I was able to learn more about dragons. That is, while they have similarities to the Ryu of the Far East, they are in fact different creatures. I had been under the impression that they were one and the same. But, be it their folklore or their status in mortal society, they are quite distinct. I had 
had assumed that the people of Eorzea were like me. That they thought the Ryu was as simply a dragon by another name. I suppose it's just little wonder that Sibley looked so puzzled during our first encounter. When we find her, I shall do my utmost to explain to her the true meaning of our mascot. Now, off to the Ageless River with us. Where is the Ageless River anyway? Oh, uh, we gotta go out in the middle of the nose. I have to grab my lunar whale. There it is. Someone come with me. I'll try this new thing. What's that? Someone jump in my vehicle with me. Okay, dude. Just waiting on the brothers. Okay. Yep. Up oh, there's one. Uh, uh. And there's two. Kiddos, let's fly. <laughs> I want to say it's in here, but it's probably not. Nope. <laughs> oh, found them. Or at least found them all. That looks like a dreadfully unsafe way of flying, uh, undeadly. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Sibley. I wish you didn't have to go, Papa. Huh? You're the adventurer from before. What are you doing here? Oh, make the me. We found you, Sibley. And the lady in the fancy helmet, too? How did you know my name? And explain away. I see. I'm sorry to cause you both trouble. I just wanted to visit my papa's favorite fishing spot. But your chocobo chick ended up following me all the way. Well, he's safe with you now. If there's nothing else, I'll be off. Hey, wait a moment. In the course of searching for Riona's gate, we couldn't help but learn your father will soon embark on a pawn of voyage, and it has left you feeling troubled. I realize we are but strangers, but if you are not averse, will you talk not talk to us about it? It's all right. My papa, he's... he's heading to Ingashi for trade. I heard that it's a long and dangerous journey, and it made me worry. I wanted to pray to the navigator to keep him safe at sea. But then I found out that Lim Lane wasn't chosen this heaven's turn, and it made me worry even more. I see. I see. As you say, it isn't the navigator, but the keeper who presides over the heavens this year. But if not the navigator, I thought I could at least pray to a god from the far east. That 
That's why I went to talk to you. So that is the way of it. You came to me hoping to beseech our divinities to protect your father. But in my fervor to showcase our mascot, I failed to lend an ear to your earnest desire. Well, I hear you now, young one. And I shall tell you a tale about the Ryu that will grant you comfort. I just, uh, need to recall a suitable one. Something that ideally features the ocean. <whistles> oh, what's gotten into you, little one? what lies that way, are you? It's a place called World Whisper Canyon. Papa told me that waterfalls appeared there after the calamity, and they changed the flow of the Nin River. your father departs on his journey. Let us head to these waterfalls that we might avail ourselves of their ambience. Even Ryanusuke is keen and we wouldn't want to ignore such a fortuitous omen. So far, so good. All right. How's everyone doing so far? Great. All right. Let's continue with the second part of the quest. The level 15 quest, Unlike a Dragon. Aria? these waterfalls. They would provide the perfect setting for my tale. And we're off. We ride. And we're here. All right, time for Arya to spin a tail. <laughs> Let us begin. The Ryu is a creature that shares many similarities with the dragons of Eorzea. But as I myself recently discovered, it is in fact a distinct being. Nor is there just one Ryu. Nay, there exist myriad individuals, all of whom have their own tales. And the creature I will speak about is the mighty Tieru. One of the four lords, whose legend holds who legend holds birth, a great waterfall in the far east. <laughs> that does sound exciting, doesn't it? In the region of Yangsha flows the One River, and its plentiful waters nourish nearby lands. In ages past, it is said Tsieryu drank so deeply from the river that he altered its very course, and in doing so, gave rise to a great waterfall, the Dragon's Struggle. While 
that is not widely known. Sienu is, the guard is regarded as a guardian deity who protected people from disasters of water. Disasters like storms and floods. Indeed. Long ago, it was believed that calamities could be quelled by sacrificing a young maiden to a divine beast such as Sienu. And while no written records exist, there is a tale of a seaside village that fell in the path of a raging storm. Des desperate to calm the heavens, the villagers offered unto Siru one of their daughters. However, Siru showed no interest whatsoever in the young girl. To merely know the villagers' plight was enough for him, it seemed, and he turned the course of the storm and spared them untold devastation. A benevolent being is Siru, who wields his power over water for good. Even now he hears our prayers and protects us and our loved ones from harm. That, my dear, it's just one example of the noble beast we celebrate this heaven's turn. Together, let us offer a prayer to Sirdu and wish your father safe travels in calm waters. That sounds perfect, miss. Thank you so much. We must thank Yunosuke as well. Were it not for him, I might not have recalled the tale of Siru. Now you can pray to Siru for safe travels too, Adventure. Oh, but perhaps you've already heard the story. Straight from the serpent's mouth, in fact. You, you mean to say you've met the great Sirio himself? Do you think that he was more serpentine in nature? If this were true, we would be able to celebrate him in the year of the snake as well. Now that I think on it, miss, you said that no written records exist of that tale. How did you come to know it? An astute observation, sibling. You see, my family is said to be descended from the maiden who was offered to see you. As long ago as the event took place, there is no way to confirm the tale's ver veracity. But if true, then it is by the grace of Siryu that I am here, alive. Thus, I have made it my mission to spread the word of his noble kind. Looking back, from the time you followed after Sibley, it is as if you had been guiding me, little one. It may be your caretaker, but it was you who were watching over me. That's like an honest to God to you! With this, I now know what I must do to initiate people into our traditions. And I shall continue doing so for as long as Ryu reigns in the heavens. Come, let us head back to the city together. We wouldn't want to make your father worry, now would we, Sidley? Back to Limsa. I'll front the bill for this. Considering I don't pay anything for it. <laughs> mm. 
And that's not really fronting the bill if you're not paying for it. Well, considering it's a free teleport for me. So it's a free teleport for all of us. Unless you'd rather I charged you for the trip. It's a, it's a free teleport regardless. We're just waiting on Arya. She needed a drink. And I, and I, in all actuality, so do I. I'm an eggnog. We're winning. Upper decks. Take the aft castle. Let's speak with the real Bugio. There you are, adventurer. Lest you wonder, young Sibley is now safely home, and I have just appraised the Rio Mizuke of our fruitful outing. Now that I have discovered a more suitable approach to buy Jacar Lama, I wish to wander the city again for onlookers. Though I regret to impose upon you once more. Your support with Sibley was most helpful. Might you accompany me while I make rounds in the area? With your discerning eyes, I am certain that you could readily identify those who might be receptive to our message. What say you? I am truly grateful. Come, let us set forth at once. The Ryu Bugyo and Ryu Nosuke are now accompanying you. Keep them at your side. Ah, we keep getting this tutorial. Every bleeding time. They think you're not. They might think you forgot. Forever. Uh, let's see. First and foremost. Ale sipping safe. Yep, we'll start with the ale sipping seat. Taylor. Uh, Corlash, would you like to do the honors of this Mikote? <laughs> Second. Yep. Sure, why not? Hmm. What the hells is that Chocobo chick supposed to be dressed up as? Arya's on her way. The Ryu, dragons from the far east. It is held that these creatures have mastery over water. And a sailor such as yourself may benefit from knowing about them. Huh. If you ask me, it looks more like a sea serpent. Hold it. It wouldn't have anything to do with that thrice damned primal leviathan, would it? I, I assure you, there is no connection whatsoever. Far from causing disasters of water, the Ryu is a benevolent beast that protects us from them. If you are interested in knowing more, I invite you to, s I invite you to seek us out at the Aft Castle. Is that right? Still, 
Here in Limsa, we've got the Navigator. But that's all the protection we need on the high seas. Ah, uh, yes. I understand that the people of your nation look to Lumanen to favor them with safe voyages. Be that as it may, disasters of water can strike beyond the bounds of the sea, in which case, placing your faith in the Ryu could provide you with added assurance. I suppose it don't hurt to have more friends in high places, as it were. Fine, fine, I'll go see what this is all about. <clears throat> Gotta love when NPCs just run right through ya. Alright, here's next on the list. Looks like we're going to the Bismarck. Dad, are you already there? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Who we got? It's a resolute resident. Dad, would you like to do some lines with us? Uh, I'd rather not. Fair enough. I'll do this one. I'm not much of a story or a reader. <laughs> By the gods! Mm, fair enough. I just resolved to solve my soul with the sight of adorable creatures this year, and what should appear but the most charming of Chocobo chicks? What's your name, little one? And what's that winsome outfit you're wearing? You have a keen eye, sir. This little fellow is a Ryanosuke. And he is dressed as a Ryu, a dragon of the Far East. By thus attiring Eorzea's favorite beast of burden, we hope to create a symbol of friendship between our lands. Well now, that this adorable form should harbor such splendid symbolism. I'd never heard of this Ryu before, but now I'm keen to know more. In that case, sir, I invite you to seek us out at the Apt Castle, Anon. There we will be glad to answer all your questions. Excellent! We shall head there at once! Alright, next stop is... Oh, that chocobo chick's running is adorable. Uh -uh. Alright, the idle yellow jackets. Yes. How can I assist you and your curiously dressed chocobo chick? shed some light on the mystery of our mascot. Little Ryudosuke here is named for the Ryu, dragons of the Far East. Oh? I thought dragons were supposed to be fearsome. This fellow looks anything but. Our costume companion notwithstanding, the Ryu is in fact a powerful and fearsome beast. Yet, by the same token, they are fondly regarded as symbols of good fortune. Should you be curious about them, we will be glad to tell you more at the F Castle. Being that, being that regarded with both fear and fondness, intriguing. Perhaps I'll play. Perhaps I'll pay a quick visit to the F Castle before returning to work. Oh, what a relief to see the locals take an interest in the Ryu. I dare say we have gathered enough people, so let us head back to the aft castle. That sounds like a plan. Let's hit it. We went the wrong way around. 
Follow the tiny lava bell. I didn't follow the tiny lava bell. I just took the etherite. Slacker. That's boring. Yeah, but I kind of got tired of running everywhere since the realm reborn. It's part of the adventure, though, man. He's been still a slacker. All right, let us speak with the the Umetsuke as soon as. Corlash gets here. We're, ah, bringing up the rear again. <clears throat> Only because somebody cheated. Uh. <clears throat> so, they're disqualified and have to clean the Chocobo uh, stables. Uh, yep. The Chocobo stables? <laughs> yes. Uh... Pyrax, thank you for the hydrate, first and foremost. Mm. <sighs> Much better. <laughs> Even Deadly's busting your balls there, dude. All right, let's talk with the Ryu Mitsuki. I, for the record, I mispronounced it back at Final Fantasy IV because they weren't spoken. True. It's now just a habit. Anyway. <clears throat> so Abugio makes her triumphant return. Done a tremendous job to pique the interest of so many. Too kind, Mitsuke. None of this would have been possible without the help, without the adventurer and Ryanosuke's help. There you are, Miss. My papa wanted to meet you, so I brought him. So you're the kindly of folks who help my sibling. I haven't the words to properly thank you, but I'm truly grateful for what you've done. I'm glad to see my girl smiling again. Do not mention it, sir. We too owe Sibley much more and more. How fast the preparations for your journey, if I may ask? Very well, thank you. And with Sibley praying to the legendary Seiru for my safety, no matter how far I venture from home, I have no doubt that all will be well. What little we might do to help you on your way, we will gladly do it. Indeed. While showing the blessing of the divine beast is a fine thing, naught is more rewarding to our delegation than fostering friendship between our lands. For all the help you've afforded us, I wish to give you a proper reward. Yet, I do not know what might be suitable. <whistles> Ryonosuke? Are you saying you wish to accompany our adventurer friend? Hmm. <laughs> I believe the little one wishes to be your charm against tumultuous waters. You would be hard pressed to choose a better companion. We still have Ryuji to help aid us in our work, so if you wish it, Ryunosuke is yours. Ryunosuke, my little guardian, thank you for everything. May your divine aura keep our friends safe. And may you and yours enjoy the rest of the Heaven Sun season, my friend. Know that wherever the Ryu wars, good fortune shall be upon you. And a 
Another heaven's turn in the books. Should you wish to draw Omikuji, the Omikujishi has returned to offer his services for the remainder of the celebration. Take him out for a heaven's turn fortune. Furthermore, 12 extra fortunes have been divined this year. Keep a watchful eye on the adventure section of your Omikuji and discover what new journeys might lie in wait for you. Oh, I must have missed that part. Hmm. Well, we might and as well. I got, uh... got my sixth Chakobo. Let me. Oh, I gotta pay a hundred gil. <laughs> yeah, maybe yes. after we <clears throat> do the rewards, we'll do that in the chill stream. Um. Anyways, we have achieved the. Uh, we have earned the achievement. Next time on Dragon Bow. And we've obtained the Ryunosuke minion. And of course, he looks downright stinking adorable. Bounce, bounce. I'm happy to be included. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, um, so we're gonna. Draw some more Omikuji. <laughs> We're gonna draw some more uh, Omikuji, hang out, and enjoy the rest of the night. Um, the stream, the live stream, still going on. If you're still watching this on Twitch, so stay tuned for more. Um, but if you like this live stream and want to see more and haven't done it yet, feel free to hit the follow button and turn on notifications so you're well informed. If you are watching the highlight on YouTube and you like this video click the like button below and leave a comment subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications click here to watch whatever the algorithm is putting up for you click here to watch all of our special events that we've gone through and click here to watch the next special event when it comes out or the most recent video from all of us here at the sanctuary have a happy new year and we'll see you next time